All right, hello everybody. So we are off on another little mini adventure here. Uh, I found a place called Bomb Diggity Dogs uh, Burgers and Brews. This is probably just gonna be like a generic, you know, like awesome tasting uh, burger. I actually don't know if they, well they do burgers, but like uh, burgers and hot dogs joint. Um, and I've got uh, Majestic and I've got uh, Nuff. He's in the dark a little bit, but. Yeah. So we're gonna go out there. I don't know anything about their food. I just saw a couple of screenshots online and they have a really high rating. So hopefully it'll be good. Uh, I'll link their website down below. Also, if you wanna get Patreon to watch the stuff that was too hot for YouTube, uh, it's at the $2 a month tier on Patreon. So links down below. And uh, give Main Event Pong a subscribe and maybe check out Majestic Beard's Twitter. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I, I just like stuff. I don't <laughs> All right, let's go. You gotta get your cameo in. Whenever I film in here, I try to get you. Are you annoyed? Oh, he's totally annoyed. What, what were you dreaming about, dude? Probably it being in this apartment. That is really weird, by the way. This, extend, this is extended cameo. Cats obviously just dream about being in their apartments, right? If you have an apartment cat. Yeah, probably. Okay, bye, buddy. I'm so confused. I have run by this area hundreds of times, and somehow I have never seen <laughs> this place is like right here. I wonder if this place is like newer or not. All right, so what did you get? All right, I got the, um, Christ, where's the thing? I think, they're just, I think they're just buffalo fries. Buffalo fries, so curly fries topped with chicken tenders, green onions, buffalo sauce, and you didn't get the ranch dressing. No, because ranch is disgusting. Yeah. You don't like it. I, I just I disagree with you wholeheartedly, but I, I respect your decision. Blue cheese is, is they're both disgusting. Okay, so one All right, let me grab a fork here so that I'm not getting my so I'm not getting my um, dirty. I'm gonna be even and probably just do that. It looks so good. I still can't believe that. Like it's blowing my mind that this place has been here. For I like years. That. Two years we asked them. It looks like they get coated it pretty good with a uh, buffalo yeah, sauce there. You gotta yeah, you gotta do the layering too. Like that's what a lot of places. Uh, End up screwing up. It looks so good. Their uh, their chicken looks awesome. The chicken's very juicy. I mean, it's got the standard buffalo sauce, but I mean, everything everything comes together nicely when you get a nice big bite of all of them. Awesome. Curly fry. That one's nice and saturated. Let's do that. Sad too. Like we can't. We don't respect the curly fry that much because like Jack in the Box is pretty much the only curly fries I ever eat. Because we don't really Arby's, have to Arby's, are good. Arby's are pretty good too, but I don't go to Arby's that often. Because there's Arby's. one in the area? Yeah, there's only one. They, we used to, growing up, we had like four or five. Yeah. They're all gone. There's one down the street from where I live, but it's gone now. Uh, what do you think overall? Overall? I go with a four. These are good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting on our food, and we have some more reviews to do. The Majestic, like, hurry, hungry. <laughs> all right, what do you got? I got the one pig's fry. So it's curly fries topped with pulled pork, chipotle, aioli, and Cajun spice. Oh yeah, let's, let's get right in here. It looks really good. Yeah, they stack. That's good. Um, there's a lot of places that don't. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I like the chipotle and barbecue sauce combination. That's really good. It sounds really, really good, yeah. What are your overall thoughts on this bad boy? What do you rate it? This is definitely... A high five. I was gonna say, like, I think, I think you and me are gonna rate it pretty high. Yeah, this is just phenomenal. Just take whatever you know. Take that little gross stuff off the top. That. Ugh. No, I, I like the. I like. I like coleslaw with barbecue. Gross. That's the only like application I like it in. But gross. Yeah, this is delicious. Man, yeah, they definitely. The, the fries are the fries are crispy, even like saturated with the sauce. Because yours is nine seventy five. That's mm -hmm. definitely worth ten bucks. Oh, and absolutely. Mine's ten fifty. And um, Nuff's was, yours was the most expensive. Yours is twelve seventy five. dollars so. still, still a lot of fries and stuff on A lot of food, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we're just waiting on mine. Uh, mine's the uh, the bacon bomb, so go up next. All right, so I got the, uh, what was it again? The uh, bacon bomb, it's curly fries, bacon jam, jalapeno bacon, beer cheese, and Cajun seasoning. Uh, this looks incredible. And I hope it is incredible. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Oh, a little bit of everything. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like a dessert. Mikey likes it. Oh, wow. That is so unique. It's that bacon jam. Is it your jam? Well, I think I like his a little more, the pulled pork, but... Mmm. Oh, it's so different. Well, there's nothing like... 
either of yours, and it's nothing like anything I've ever had before. Mm, nice. That bacon jam really stands out. Uh, beer cheese a little bit. Like when you guys get a bite of this after, then you'll understand. It's so. Oh wow. <laughs> I can see this turning some people off. Um, it's such a unique flavor, but oh man, it's almost got like a smokiness to it too. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna eat the shit out of this. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a five. It's really good. It's just, it's different. If I come back though, I'm gonna get what he got. Yeah. Their pulled pork. Mm, Ditto. It's out of this world. Pulled pork is incredible. Um, but all of this meshes really well. And uh, Honestly, I can see yeah. this becoming too much though. Like, if you try to eat it all, I'm gonna eat it all. But I'm actually gonna clarify this is a silver fruit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's revised. It's so fucking good. Man, this, yeah, this is really good. I gotta say, uh, Bomb Diggity, they're in Upland, California. Uh, if you do want to check them out, uh, I think we're going to come back because they also had, I wanted to try their devil dog. It's a jalapeno cheddar sauce, chili, uh, cheese, uh, beer cheese, caramelized onions, jalapenos, and crushed hot Cheetos. So, you know, Cheetos are always going to sell. But they've got so many items on here mm -hmm. that I want to do. They have a stoner burger that I'm also interested in. So, yeah, I'll I'm definitely come back. Yeah, I'm going to get this on my own time. We'll definitely come back and try more of their stuff. So, uh, I'll link their business and any of their links down below. If you do want to check it out, again, make sure to give Made Event Pong a subscribe. Check out all of us on social media and just support your local businesses because they need some help right now. So, thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Mad Time along with Trippy Foods Val and Gamer Nick. Uh, all of their stuff, YouTube channels, Twitch channels, all social media stuff, which I put down below. Give everybody follows. Uh, this is a return review because we did this company before. Uh, it was uh, P Pizzuts, uh, and they just do like these. They're supposed to be like different, weird, like healthier versions of peanuts for like snacking. I saw this one though. I was like, peanuts, right? Peanuts, yeah. Okay. And this is weird because this is their molten lava inferno flavor. So I was like, oh, molten lava peanuts. That'll be like a cool title. I just noticed something while I was reading the back of the ingredients. Here's what's in it. Uh, oh god, what was I reading? Peanuts, obviously. Kosher salt, not bad. Habanero peppers. Carolina Reaper peppers. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> we're screwed. Ma ma Malaguda peppers? I don't know what the hell that is, but... Let's keep this handy. The fact that it actually... <laughs> so in the corner here it says, caution, our caution uh, content is extremely hot. They mean it. Yeah. They mean it. Um, here's oh, the boy. little description off the back. Uh, Pizzuts peanuts invented by the mad scientist Dr. Alfred P. Pizzuts. Boy genius, uh, aerospace engineer, and peanuts pioneer, Pizzuts peanuts like are infused with natural flavors and that. zero artificial ingredients. So brilliant, it took a rocket scientist to come up with them. Uh, for more of Alfred's story, visit Pizzuts.com. Oh, this is going to be hot. They're from Peter Parker. If this They're isn't Peter hot, Parker I'm going to be very disappointed. Because if you I mean, throw... The way, they, the way they hyped that up? They hyped it up pretty good, yeah. <gasps> Man! Man! Ah, uh, yeah, they smell hot. They don't look hot. No, not at all. They just look like normal, normal snackable peanuts. Wait, I'm gonna guess the heat level's not gonna be as hot, hot as we think. No, it never is. No. No, right off the bat. No, they don't taste good either. They didn't taste good before. The they're they're waxy. Mm-hmm. They taste like fake peanuts. Dude, are they even hot? A little tingle's starting to come on my tongue a little. Haha. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> I said that with the grinder day too yesterday. But why, are they, why is it taking so long, that heat? Maybe it's there. Maybe they inject the peanuts. I think it'll be a slow build. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I just swallowed. I can taste it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's hot. It's not like dead hot. No. But it's it's hot though. That's hotter than I would want a casual peanut to be. You don't take. You don't get the heat until you swallow it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's building. Ooh. I don't know. I think they're terrible. <laughs> to be honest, they're pretty bad. No flavor. The heat's okay. I like the heat. The heat's okay, it's but it's tolerable. But, but it, it, at least, at least if you're not going to have any flavor. Have the heat coming right off, right off the bat. This, yeah. this, the heat doesn't come until you're done. Because a lot of things with like, yeah, there's no taste to it. I don't get the heat till I swallow it. Yeah, usually like that's what I said with the grinder date from three days until ago. Until you get the heat, you taste something, but there's nothing to taste here until the heat builds up. Yeah, I'd say the best thing about it is the heat. Um, it's pretty doable. Um, it does taste like Carolina Reapers too. Like it actually tastes like the pepper. Yeah, but the peanuts but, are not good. But the peanuts aren't good. They're like he said, they're waxy. They don't have. They just don't have it a flavor stale. that I would want. It's it almost like stale peanuts. It just tastes like there's nothing going on. Like the heat's great, but the yeah. flavor is not. That heat comes in afterwards. I was like, I, I it's hotter in my mouth oh. now. This is. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm stuck with heat for nothing though. 
if you ate that whole bag, you would be dying for sure. Because yeah. they really would build. But yeah, I'm just not impressed with this brand. I'd want to because I, I love the packaging. I love the gimmick. I like everything about it, the but fear it's, factor. the flavor is just not yeah, good. Things, things with heat usually have flavor and taste to it, too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty disappointed with it. Uh, the packaging is going to carry it uh, to a very, like very a low two out of five. Six. I mean, like as low as I can imagine. Almost a one. I, I give it a one. It's not impressive. I give it a one, too. Yeah. Mm. The, peanuts are, the peanuts are terrible. Yeah. The heat comes in afterwards. It's like, yeah. I picked these up, ironically enough, at um, a grocery outlet. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Grocery outlet's awesome. Grocery outlet's one of my favorite places, but it's like big yeah, box. But you, yeah, but you know if you see it at grocery outlet, that means yeah. that you can't get it anywhere else anymore. Anyway. That and also you know that within two weeks you're never gonna see it again. Like it's gone. It's it's way it went there to die, basically. I went, I went to grocery outlet one time and I saw bison broth, like you know, like beef broth, and I saw bison broth and I'm like, Oh I should get that and I didn't get it and I've never seen it anywhere since. No, of course not, yeah. That's it's like big lots with class. Like you won't find bugs in your stuff at big lots, but you will at, at big lots. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm sorry, grocery outlet. Did I say it wrong? I I think I said that sentence wrong. Maybe. Let's do it again. You won't find bugs in your stuff at Grocery Outlet, but you will at Big Lots. Okay, what if you're buying bugs? Uh, well, then, you know, I've never seen Grocery Outlet have bugs, so. Not even the cricket chips? No. No, I haven't. But, uh, hey, there you go. Uh, now you know to avoid this. Just don't do it unless you're curious. And uh, if so, I don't know where the hell you can go to get it. Hey, if they're curious, they can just watch this. Well, I'm bi curious, which is why I'm on Grinder. He is bi curious because he saw this, he was curious, and he bought it. Yeah. My problem though, I would be full blown like homosexual, but my problem is is that I always have a floppy because I'm not. So, and guys don't seem to mind though. They just kind of play with it. You know, just, it, this is this is it. And they just kind of go, 